Good morning. So this morning I kind of started early without you guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I decided what I wanted to do was bacon and egg noodles because I'm been hankering for a bit of bacon and we've got some. So that's cool. And I didn't want to waste any eggs and stuff like that. But I really kind of want them this morning. So we're going to have them. Yep. So we're starting off by slicing our bacon and crisping it off, okay? You want it that nice crispy crispy. You do. You do. Trust me, you do. Right. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna get our noodles. I'm gonna snap them in half and then half again straight into the pan. Okay? That naughty. And we're going to add some, our water. Not a lot. Just enough for the noodles to take up the water that they need. And also to poach our egg. So we're going to kind of poach it in the cooking liquid. in the middle of there, like that. Now that'll take a couple of minutes, not long, to finish. Okay, so as our water goes down, we need to baste our egg, because obviously it's not covering the egg like a normal poaching would. So we're just gonna baste it in the cooking liquid, and it'll cook from the top just by that, which is kind of cool. See, look, it's actually going opaque very quickly. Now you can do this when you butter poach your eggs as well. Um, if you don't like a very yellowy top. But that means that all of this white round here now is actually properly cooked, which is nice. Okay. Our noodles are starting to soften a bit. So we're going to break those down a bit so that they can take up more of the fluid. So I don't want them too watery. Well, I don't, not today. So I'm going to break them up a bit. Maybe flip them over because that's quite dry on one side so flip them over a bit let them take up whatever they can and they will a couple more minutes and we're done and we're almost done we've got everything broken down and around you could add whatever you like prefer it this way. It would work if you were using vegetarian bacon as well. Um, bacon alternatives. It does work if you do that as well. So, you know, don't panic yourselves over thinking that, you know, it has to be this. It doesn't. It can be whatever the fuck you like or whatever you've got in the cupboard. Yes, it can. Now I'm going to put the seasoning on. Here we go. I still have three pieces of bacon left. But they'll probably have to be used this week, I would imagine. Here we go. Now that's completely dried off, which is really, really good. That's what I want it to happen. So I didn't want a lot of wetness in this. Just gonna Ooh. Oh, 
going to turn it off so it doesn't completely overdo itself. Normally I would just tip it in the bowl but I don't want to get the egg on until last. <laughs> Sorry. Being awkward, okay? Don't judge. plonk our little eggy on top and we're done yum 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 cat's been fed now it's my turn <laughs> mm, actually I'm just gonna put a little bit of tabasco on my eggy just to give it a little bit of a bouncy kick for you guys this is very simple very very easy you don't have to have just this for breakfast you can have whatever you like you know you could have it for lunch you could have it for dinner have it any time of the day I don't like turning around saying something's a breakfast food or a lunch food or a dinner food or whatever because at the end of the day I know people who have a bags of crisps for breakfast it is what it is right we all do what it is. Mm. <laughs> Let's have a look at this egg. Oh, look. Yummy. I don't like my eggs really, really youngy, yeah, runny. So having just a little bit of run is perfect for me. Perfect, perfect. Oh yeah. Beats normal bacon and eggs. That's all I can say, guys. Mm. Just go make yours. I have work to do now. I have to work on this bowl. <laughs> and I will catch you guys later. Have a really, really good day. Stay safe, being good to each other. Be kind. In a world that's not very kind at the moment, be kind. Love you guys. Bye.